friend is back to greet me for the second time so far. It was great to actually see him on the log, uh, facing me as I came in. So it's the Robin and me tonight. <laughs> I'll try and get him on footage again. Come on down! <laughs> okay, so the sleep system I'm planning for tonight. Gore-Tex bivy bag. Then the DD under blanket. Then the X bed mat, and then me and Top in the sleeping bag. The bivy bag will soak up the moisture, if any, on the from the ground. The under blanket is there for reflecting, hopefully, the heat back into the mat. And of course, I'll be on top of the mat, keeping warm anyway. So that's the plan. But I've got about an hour or an hour and a half left of good daylight. I'm going to get the cooking stuff set up in the fire. And then the last thing I'll do tonight is open up that sleeping bag and get inside it. So, a couple of potatoes, discounted lean diced beef steak, 5% fat, and a carrot. Just realised I forgot the onion. <coughs> it wouldn't be the same without forgetting something. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. So a little bit of oil browning the meat and then everything's going in chopped and adding the water with the bisto get some gravy in there and let it simmer away until it's ready to eat time to get the fire going
So what I'm going to make an attempt to do, and whether it works or not, time will tell. But I've just chopped up some of this dead log that's been lying here for weeks. Uh, give the fire a chance to catch onto the dry wood. Also the chippings are going to start using as part of the tinder and kindling. I'm going to get them all together, feeding off of that log. Hopefully lasting all night. But the sun's going down, time to get this lit. You don't have to worry about being cold when you're busy outside. I'm roasting. <laughs> uh, but now as the fire gets established, uh, slowly but surely we're getting there. Uh, time to get the food prep and get myself sorted in this shelter for tonight. can't see me. Hopefully you can now. <laughs> Got the torch on my phone here. Uh, I didn't bring the head torch. I'm only going to be here to the fire. But uh, I'm so glad I'm here. Sometimes it takes that little push just to get away from the house. And when I say I'm on the computer, I'm normally just looking up running my Facebook page the Marian Apparitions page that I've got. Over 3,200 members now and growing all the time. 
and also YouTube. I'm always on YouTube, that's the most time of the day I'm on uh, when I'm not working. So it's easy to get bogged into editing as well as watching others. And sometimes when you're used to that, time flies and you're thinking, I can't get out now another time. And then I feel worse for it when that's the case. So I come down here about 2 p.m. Spent a good hour getting everything set. Uh, the walk alone took a bit of time off that. So I literally had an hour before the sun went down. Hopefully there's a decent kind of light coming off this. But I'm going to just sit back and enjoy it. I'll see how the cooking goes and then I'll have a little dram. I'm a Scotsman, I've brought some whiskey with me. <laughs> but uh, thanks to Lonnie of Far North Bushcraft for this fire tip. Looking at it now, why not even try it? <laughs> Simple looking, but never had a clue until last week when I saw it. And it was a spontaneous moment to make it into the fire that it is. Uh, right now, so thanks for that tip. Your channel's great. So, push the oven right in there now. The flames are at the back end of the log. I'm still not sure if this is going to last. Uh, there's a bit of sleet coming on, so I'm getting under the shelter while this cooks. Sorry for the poor lighting, folks. <laughs> Smelling good, it's browned. Time we get the veg in. We'll get the water into the boil. Just going to add the stock, the best one, just now. That way it can all get blending together in the one go. That should do it. If not, I'll add more. But I like it strong anyway. There's one more stir. See that? Mm -mm. <laughs> so, as you can see, the Swedish log fire is going well with these three logs in place. One in the left is burning beautifully. It's almost gone with the diameter. That could probably get whacked with the axe, but I'm going to leave it. The one on the right needs to probably get put in the middle, I would say, and hopefully get it fed through. I'm going to enjoy the stew, get these turned round, sit down and enjoy the stew, and that's what I'll be doing, then a whiskey. Actually coming down with a little bit of a cold. A lot going about. Surprise, surprise for winter. That's what shoes are for. <laughs> See how the potatoes are. Ooh. Cast irons are great, man. They retain the heat. 
must have been on the snow now for five minutes. Easy. Normally if you see my bushcraft cooking videos, I use a little grill over the hot coals. Uh, that's cooled down on the ground even in summer within a couple of minutes. But this is proper warm. Their own sausage and a roll of bacon today for breakfast. And a cup of coffee. I was waiting on a little job happening with the car and I haven't ate it since until now. Oh, this is really good, guys. Best of it is the lights on me. I can't see in the pot, but I'm hoping you can see me. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to be out in the woods, though. <laughs> Even if you're talking to a camera. <laughs> but uh, my little robin redbreast that was here to meet me straight away, and it's getting braver, so I think it's trusting me more. But it's quickly becoming a little mascot down here. I'll eat a bit of this and then I'm having a little whiskey. <laughs> now it wouldn't be the same without a nice whiskey to top it off. I have the 12 year old Glen Fiddick miniature set. I have the 15 and 18 at home but I thought I'd start with the 12 courtesy of my dad for Christmas. It's nice and chilled. Don't need ice cubes or. I don't know if I'll need water. Sometimes you think someone's thrown a snowball off this thing, the amount of snow drop them off the trees. <laughs> Columbo these days when it comes to what's what in my pockets. There we go. Right where the, <laughs> the light's blinding me. There's a wee measure. I'll go with a bit more. I don't know why I'm doing a half size because I'm a Scotsman. It's all going. <laughs> oh, this will be fun tonight. <laughs> oh yeah. Still got my sense of smell for now. <laughs> If I haven't says it once, I've probably says it a few times, but here's another one. Happy New Year. I wish you all the best for 2018. Thanks for your support, your encouragement, and everything else you're doing to make me enjoy this so much. 2017's actually been a good year, and I didn't realise how much I did until I made the video uh, reflecting on it. All the trips and new faces, new subscribers, it's been great. I've got so much planned for 2018. I must have like 14 books stacked up from the library, one from eBay that I bought, and of course I've got like 100 and odd books in the bookshelves anyway. So uh, it's all bushcraft, extreme survival, learning trees, plants, SES survival guide, you name it. I'm getting into it all. And uh, the drone, I'm still waiting on the Mavic Pro Platinum from DJI. It has been ordered, and it's pre-order stage. There's just a delay, could be another month. But while camping up north, I believe I'm going for a two-night trip with Scott's Wild Camper. Possibly Mark McFarlane out in the wild. I don't know if Scottish Wanderer's going, and a whole load of other people. Some, I believe, have YouTube channels. So that's going to be on January 21st. A few weeks from now, and uh, I'm currently working on the Medjugorje project for the new prophecy. 
I'm noticing the Anonymous uh, on Facebook, the group Anonymous. They're posting quite a lot right now about World War Three again and certain generals tipping things off of what's happening in the next few months. So if that's the case, I'm going to be all over that because of prepping stuff and uh, the vlogging and current affairs to keep us alert to it. It's all coming, guys. But I've said enough about that. Happy New Year. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the peace and joy and happiness and prosperity. Peace to you all. Ice cubes don't make it like that. That is just beautiful. Oh, if just there was a little snow bucket in the house to keep it all in. <laughs> Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to the I should have <laughs> Uh, my battery is running, running low, guys. Uh, I'm just going to sit here, enjoy the fire. I've been up since 6am, so it's been a long day. And I'm looking forward to an early night. My eyes are heavy. Uh, my light's flashing, so it might be the cold that's running the battery a bit quicker. But thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, because there's plenty more coming. But thanks again for everything, and a happy new year.